Oh my god, RT, when are you gonna do a face reveal? It's not happening, guys. Thank you to the close to 7,000 people who submitted a question for this Q&A over on the RT Game subreddit. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's a fair few more than I was expecting to answer, but, you know, we'll, we'll do the best we can. You know, we'll get at least seven or ten answered. Uh, that's, that's something. The first question I think is very sweet, just how are you doing? You've done so much to help us all cope with quarantine, but you're doing okay. I hope you aren't overworking yourself, especially not to keep us happy. No, like, honest to God, like, like thank you for, like, the sentiments uh, people have been sending my way, um, you know, during these times. Uh, honest to God, I've just been having a lot of fun streaming and making videos more than anything. Um, and, of course, there's a global pandemic going on. Of course, we're all under quarantine. Um, for me, I, I just to kind of pass the time, I'm just streaming more and I'm making more videos, basically. Uh, but I'm glad that that's helping so many people, uh, you know, because I think we're in a time where, you know, the world could use a bit more entertainment. And I'm just, I just fucking love making videos, honestly. Um, so, you know, so I, I'm happy to be doing this right now. Where'd you get the username Magistrex from? It is an old name that came from fiction that I used to write. Uh, I have an English major as my background, and I'm very much a fan of, like, sci-fi and writing a bunch of shit. Uh, Magistrex is just one of the names that came from there. Why'd your parents name your RT game? Because I rumbled and tumbled out. Hey, influencer, I am a fan of Insert Channel. My company, Spiffco Shady Deals Incorporated, is interested in buying your channel for one million Zimbabwe kashka. Do you agree, valued friend? Spiff, who hurt you? How many girls have you got when you were Drift King? How would you feel when you suddenly blew up on YouTube? Um, honest to God, it's still kind of surreal. A part of me doesn't even believe that it happened, um, even today. Uh, it's been absolutely life-changing, um, honest to God. Because um, the time that I blew up on YouTube, I thought I was on the verge of having to quit YouTube and Twitch altogether, basically. Uh, I was living in Japan at the time, and I had a teaching job lined up. And literally the week of my interview, when I was supposed to start teaching, the channel just exploded, uh, and it was just a very surreal moment when I realized, like, my god, like, I'm not going for this teaching job now because it makes more sense for me to just sit at home and play video games on the internet. Uh, and I, the fact that there's such a community around the channel now, and, like, you guys are just so accepting of basically any kind of content I produce, um, I, I, I'm incredibly thankful, uh, for just, that, like, that opportunity and to be in that position. Hey, RT, I love your content and how chill you are with your fans. What are some of your favorite things to do while you're not streaming? Hearthstone is taking over my life. I need help. I've also been building a fair bit of LEGO recently, and I've just been playing more games in my off time. Like, I have some that I don't actually stream because I don't think they do well to stream because they're a bit too long. Hammy asks, are you a bottom? Well, you know, there's Domino's Pizza guys, the Subway Sandwich guys. I'm, I'm more of a Nintendo Switch guy, if you know what I'm saying. Mom, I'm sorry. I need to know your favorite color. My life is actually dependent on it. Well, that's a real shame, ain't it? What topic could you give a 20-minute presentation on without any preparation? Uh, how Harry Hill is one of the most underappreciated comedians of our time. Like, the man is a comedic genius, and he does not get the recognition he deserves. Honest to God. If you were stuck on a desert island and you could choose one person to be stuck with you, who would be dragged along to be meat? <laughs> Wait, I thought- I thought this question was asking who I was gonna take with me to the island. But no, this is- this is cannibalism. Kevin. Hey RT, love your videos. What gives you inspiration for video ideas? Does something pop into your head and like, oh, I want to play The Sims, I'm gonna stream that, or do you get ideas elsewhere? Uh, it more or less is just whatever I'm in the mood for playing. I like to look at games in particular that I haven't played in a while. Um, I've always been of the mindset where I want videos on the channel to feel like they're new, and I don't really like the idea of recycling the same thing ad nauseum. Uh, like I always want to try and make something a bit different. Uh, it's why you might see me hopping between games quite often and cycling them quite a bit. If you could live in any game, which one would it be? An Animal Crossing without Boone. Do you regret being public with your face reveal? Does it affect your day-to-day -day life? Do people recognize you as Southern Ireland, not that internet personality savvy? First of all, don't don't call it Southern Ireland, okay? That's a sticking point. You, you, it's Ireland and it's Northern Ireland. And secondly, I've never done a face reveal. Why are you Irish? What? You fucker! Why are you Irish? I, I'm sorry. Why'd you decide to specifically genocide Wooloos? Why not other animals? It was a joke when we were playing Pokemon, honestly. 
and it kind of just got out of hand and I lost 50 hours of my life. What was your favorite game you streamed? I like to give it to Wii Sports Resort because I think that was just the perfect stream. Uh, everything that could have gone right went right. What is your favorite channel meme and was the creation of I Want Die purely random? Um, favorite meme? I quite like the idea of just using a gun to solve everything. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but like that one from Scribblenauts has kind of just persevered and just the idea of like encounters where we just like solve everything with a gun uh, I like that's quite entertaining to me. I do like country roads as well I know it's spammed quite a bit these days. I've got the crackdown in the twitch chat But you know that, that was like the original big channel meme uh, the creation of I want die It kind of was random. Honestly, we were just trying to create an abomination of a me. I know you have my son. Where is he? That's for me to know. Will you drift me, daddy? What are some of these questions? What's wrong with some of you? Can you think of a moment in your career that changed your life for the better? Like, is there any moment you remember fondly purely because it had such a big impact on your life? Uh, the move to variety content, like, honest to God, is the single best decision I ever made in my life. Um, and, uh, you know, like, I owe my entire career to that and the support uh, of you guys that actually stuck with me in the weeks to follow that moment. Do you have any plans after you retire from streaming at slash YouTube? <laughs> I'll be dead then. What was your favorite memory of the channel during the content shift of 2017 to 2018? Honestly, just being able to play different games. Uh, there was something incredibly liberating about knowing that people are there to watch your content for you and not necessarily the games you play. What's your favorite build stream? Uh, the space one that we did in Minecraft recently. Uh, it's the most creative one by far. I like that is the best highlights video of the lot of them too. Uh, like if there's only one you could watch you should go watch that one. Will you marry me? You're not Kevin. You have a favorite short story or poem and if so, what is it? Uh, favorite short story is The Garden of Fork and Pats uh, by Jorge Luis Borges and Favorite poem is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. What's a game you really love to play but don't think people would like watching? Uh, I can actually think of quite a few JRPGs I like that just wouldn't really be appropriate for the channel. Uh, Xenoblade 2 is one that I actually quite like. Octopath Traveler is a game I fucking love, but I probably wouldn't stream because it's just so slow. Um, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, that had a remaster recently. How did you discover Call Me Kevin? I've been watching him since his machinima days, uh, when he was playing Call of Duty and how to annoy people on that channel. And I made the move from the machinima channel to his personal channel when YouTube used to promote trending videos by country and so Kevin would off quite often come up in trending in Ireland as a category and I was just like oh hey it's an Irish YouTuber um because you know the Irish are naturally drawn towards each other it's kind of like a mentality we have and I've been watching them ever since what's your Hogwarts house Hufflepuff are you ever going to finish sorcery yes yes I am and I'm sorry it's been so long I never forgot it's just Life was very busy last year, and it got constantly pushed aside, but I am gonna get back to it. Why are you such a complete psycho in every game? Honestly, I used to be the kind of person who would play games via spreadsheet back in the day, and I'd be very upset if everything didn't go according to plan. And uh, over time, I kind of just got frustrated playing games that way, until I kind of just realized during uni, it's just more fun to just dick around in games and see what happens. Like, I like throwing a spanner in the works and just seeing what happens, just because why not? And and I think it's like this weird thing where so, so many people are so focused on playing a game right, or playing a game well, or like min-max and everything, that they forget to just have fucking fun. Uh, I just like having fun, honestly. You ever plan to do more Hitman videos anytime in the future? Uh, I get this question in different guises quite often, like, do you plan on playing X game? Do you plan on playing City Skylines again? When's the next Minecraft build? Uh, if I feel like playing a game, I will play that game. Um, I don't have a set schedule for which games I'm playing at any one moment. I just play whatever takes my fancy. Is the podcast still going to happen? Hopefully. I know it's been a while since I talked about that one, and that's just because life has been up in the air for me the last while, I guess. But hopefully, the idea is still there, and I would very much like to do something. What do you think of all the memes and inside jokes that have come out of your streams? Uh, honestly, it's very sweet to see. Uh, it kind of gives a feeling of community. Uh, uh, even when there's things like Country Road starts playing, and it's like people just like start sweating nervously because they associate it with disaster. Is Sans Undertale still funny? He was never funny. How do you convert your streams into YouTube videos? I just tried to take the funny moments from the stream and just kind of boil down what that stream was as much as I possibly can uh, just for the YouTube crowd. 
Uh, the idea for the videos on YouTube is that it's always a teaser for the actual streams themselves because, like, you know, I'm, I'm a Twitch streamer first and foremost, and then, like, the YouTube channel is just, the, like, the side thing for, like, those who cannot catch the streams live. So, you know, it's kind of like a summation thing, uh, kind of like the best bits from those live moments that we had. Do you have any advice for aspiring streamers? Uh, get a good mic. Uh, even if it's, like, Blue Snowball or Blue Yeti, that will set you above, like, 90% of streamers. Uh, play a game you love. Don't ever just pick something because you think it's gonna get you the most views. Like, you don't, don't just go into Fortnite because, oh my god, they're all Fortnite, the kids love that. Like, n no one cares and you'll kind of hate yourself for it. And play with a friend uh, when you start because it's very easy to get focused on the numbers when you start off streaming. If you have a friend there, you're gonna focus on having fun with your friend and not the amount of people in Twitch chat. Any regrets that you have made after deciding to continue and focus on YouTube and Twitch? Honestly, none. Um, I, th this is my dream job. Uh, I could not be happier, honest to God. Inspiration-wise, is there anyone you look up to? Uh, German985. Uh, I think he's the best creator just on the internet, hands down. Uh, every stream that man puts out is just comedy gold. Uh, he's been a massive influence on my own content. What game do you have the most hours on? World of Warcraft, without a shadow of a doubt. In a previous stream, you mentioned not wanting to show this subreddit to the YouTube channel because it would ruin it. What made you change your mind? That's actually a really good question. I've talked about that one quite a few times on stream before, that I never wanted like to publicize the subreddit too much because I didn't want this massive influx in population that would kind of overwhelm it. But what kind of changed my mind is because we've since publicized things like my Twitter more, uh, things like my Discord more, and it's honestly been fine in regards to the community. Uh, it's just, it's a little bit busier, but more people just know about it. Uh, for the subreddit in particular, like, honestly, I love the subreddit. Uh, like, some of the shit you guys come up with is great, and I just kind of want to share it with the larger community, I guess. Uh, and that kind of fear of it being ruined I guess kind of dwindled because again we opened up things like the discord more and it was fine What's your favorite game of all time? And what's your favorite console? Pokemon black and white 2? Favorite console? Probably the Nintendo Switch. It's just a real good games machine. What about being Irish? Are you proudest slash most ashamed of? Honestly for Ireland like our culture and our sensibility I think is astounding uh, We have this very practical sense of cop on and common sense uh, that is just very refreshing considering how mad the larger world is in some parts. Um, doesn't really get like that in Ireland. Uh, most ashamed of is kind of lax sometimes when it comes to achieving change. Like we're a very relaxed nation, but sometimes we're too relaxed and we kind of just let things slide when we really shouldn't. Where'd your love for cursed Wii slash me related games come from? I know exactly where this came from. Uh, it was university when I was part of a game society there. Uh, we had a big cabinet full of old games. And there was a bunch of them in there that were just of middling quality that I would love to just kind of dig out and play. Uh, just for the laugh, almost. And uh, just to see how bad they are. Would you ever do a bookshelf tour? I fucking love that question. Um, if not necessarily a bookshelf tour, I kind of just want to talk about books more. Um, you know, I'm I, I'm a massive, like, like, English lit nerd. How'd you and Call Me Kevin meet? Uh, we first started talking when both of our channels were blowing up in the summer of 2018. Uh, I think the recommended section on YouTube was just recommending each other's videos on our videos and it would quite commonly come up. Uh, Kevin reached out to me first. Uh, he didn't know I was a fan of him or anything like that, but it was because he saw my uh, Playing God in the Sims video and we just got talking from that point and now we're really good friends. How bad is your driving in real life? Uh, I don't know how to drive. Pretty bad I imagine. What's your least favorite game that you finished? Minecraft Story Mode. <laughs> How have you evolved as a streamer slash content creator? What is one thing you think you've really improved on since starting, and one thing you still want to improve on in the future? Uh, for me, it's probably the accessibility of my content, I think is the big thing. Because when I was doing TF2 still, those TF2 videos were only for people who played TF2, and no one else gave a shit about them. Whereas when I went to variety content, even if you don't necessarily play the games uh, that I'm playing in the video, uh, you can still find them funny. And that's not me just like kind of toot my own horn, but it's like the way I've tried to present them. Like, uh, I don't know how many people have necessarily played games like Kerbal Space Program, but if you see me just dicking around with rockets or something like that, like, like there's entertainment in that. Uh, so that's something that I always like tried to work on since moving from just the one game to everything. I don't want people to feel like they're excluded just because they've missed out on a game. Something I want to improve on in the future is just getting better at taking time off. Uh, making baby steps in that direction. 
but I know myself and I'm a bit of a workaholic because, uh, you know, I, I love my job. Uh, sometimes I put this uh, huge pressure on myself to just keep making videos when you know, I just need like a night to myself or something. I'm getting better at that. You have any hobbies besides streaming and YouTube? Well, traveling, but I can't do much of that right now. Uh, but I also love reading, writing, uh, baking, uh, putting together Lego sets. I fucking love that. What's your best advice for people who want to start creating entertaining content? Uh, do what you love. Make the videos you're passionate for. Uh, don't necessarily make videos just because you think they'll be popular. Because you set yourself up for failure if you do that. I see too many people try out YouTube or Twitch as a platform and they get lost in the numbers uh, way too quick and they just get discouraged and move on. Uh, I've been making content since 2011 myself and it is literally the last two years that I've had like a substantial amount of success. So uh, I've been at this for close to a decade uh, before, you know, I, it started to pay off, I guess. And the reason I was able to keep it up so long is because I just always loved making content. I never really was trying to just make it big uh, on YouTube or Twitch or anything like that. That was just a side effect of me doing something I was passionate for. Are you actually friends with Kevin? That's a nice thought, being friends with Kevin. No, but we actually are good friends. And some people think the fake beef between us is real, and I don't understand it. Because uh, we are good friends, and it's very clearly a joke. Uh, those people who think it's real, I imagine, are not very fun at parties. What's it like hanging out with the Irish lads? Honestly, it's fucking great crack. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, it's kind of surreal to have that little Irish YouTube collab group together like this. Uh, but it's just properly good fun. You know, like we can be ourselves and we can spout Irish jokes and Irish humor and we're all in on it. Uh, which is just kind of great. Who do you play as in Smash and why? Uh, Villager, because I like killing people with the tree. <laughs> I wish there was more of a reason. I just I just find it really funny when that's how they die. What's your favorite video and why? German's clip it uh, from his own sorcery streams. It's just, it's one of his best moments. A question from a smelly friend. What is your favorite part about each season? In spring, it is when cherry blossom trees bloom. In summer, it is when the nights become longer. In autumn, it's going out and about and just the kind of smells and the environment and in winter it is cozy enough by a fire. What was your major inspiration for the I Won't Die me? Pain. Do you believe in aliens or the paranormal? Yes, yes I do, because I think the universe is much more exciting if they're real. I was just gearing up to do an end for this video and then I noticed this post on the subreddit and oh good god that's fucking terrifying. Um, I want to die. Thank you once again to everyone who submitted a question for this video. Uh, apologies once again for not being able to answer them all. It's just under 7,000 of them, so you know, I've, I've done the best I can. Uh, if you want to check out the subreddit for yourself, uh, there will be a link in the description below. And look, on the subreddit too, they've actually posted a face reveal for me. You know, it's like people have been asking that for a long time. You can finally see it. It's there.